All right, I'm gonna name this hike what it is. This is not a nature hike, this is a history hike. We are not making progress through any distance. This whole hike is just over a mile. So there was never any plan to really put in distance on this hike, but the history we're learning is pretty excellent. All right, so this is jumping forward in time, talking about women in the workforce during World War II, and a little bit of blast furnace safety improvements. All right, this is a nice little uh, increased output. In 1870, when the buildings down here were first opened, they were doing 50 tons. The furnace was producing 50 tons a day of, I assume, molten steel. And by 1910, 40 years later, this building was producing 400 tons a day. So that's a eight-fold increase in 40 years. It's pretty good. That's pretty good progress. Wow. So that prison is not, uh, doesn't hold anybody anymore, but. I've never really like stood outside of a prison and looked. This has got to be a lot of hot works here because you got cement and brick on top of the cement. There's a lot of layers of insulation. Well, let's see, according to our guy's diagram. Well, I assume these are the furnaces. I mean, that's what that sign said. Yeah. These are circular, so we got three furnaces or certainly two furnaces oh you know what it is yeah we got two furnaces two circles and this is the the coal that's burning the fire underneath so this is the the fuel or past stoves huh it's the stove well i, I don't maybe. maybe they call them stoves i don't know The four, the four smaller ones look like that building down there. Those are the gas washers. Well, you know, if anyone, <laughs> we have no experience to talk about this topic at all no. uh, in terms of, of uh, industry and steel making. So I would say, if anybody does, tell us what's going on here. Put it in the comments. Please, we're curious. <laughs>